Welcome back, folks. Well, I think we're gonna lose this one. I'm actually pretty sure we're gonna lose this one. Um, we're basically out of people. Uh, we do have two beavers here. So we could take one of you off. Or just... Yeah, you don't have anything to do right now. So that means that we can build. Uh, I want you to be a priority. Good. All right, that thing is gone. I want to rebuild this. Uh, I want a human. Uh, somewhere I can't remember where now let's leave the human for building for now I want a human for somewhere I don't remember where though hmm all right Well, there comes the tavern. We can stick a human in there. Uh, that does not make any difference. That will, but we can't make barrels right now. And we're rebuilding that. That is rebuilt. Let's see, we can do grain and insects, and we'll do 20, we're not going to do that, nah, well I would love to do this, we don't have the means to do it right now, um, Roots. Can we get barrels somehow? I don't think so. Nip. Okay. Um. We could build a common hall. Well, let's build a common hall there. Don't need anything here. The herb garden could be something that we need, but we're, we're, we're not going to need it because we're going to die. We're going to lose uh, unless we open up another couple of dangerous glades and somehow appease her highness uh, let's stick you in there let's remove that all right uh. So you don't have anything to do right now, so there's no point in you being there. There's no point in you being there. Well, yes there is. Yes there is. People! lizard because then we can put the lizard in there which gives plus five resolve oh wait and plus one to global resolve which is good uh we have a cornerstone uh 
doesn't really matter. When looting abandoned cash, every open cash flow is still by 15 points. That is actually really nice, but we don't have any way of generating stuff for it. So we're gonna choose that. So Hilda is almost here. Uh, we can put a human in there. We can put a beaver in there. We can put a couple of humans in here. And this one isn't built yet right now. Okay. Uh, I do want to get this path going out here. Oh, cool. And I do want this. ready this for chopping. Alright, so we're almost through here. But the scavenger's camp is out of deposits. Uh, is there a flax? That's about it. So we might as well grab the flax out here. There we go. And there we go. Okay, it's the Rain Spirit Totem. Fisman magic, although primitive, can be very effective. Destroys all roads in the settlement. Movement speed is reduced by 30%. Uh, by 225 points. Ouch. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we will grab both of you. Uh, hmm. I think we'll do the convert version and then we have a brickyard which could be nice we can produce pottery which could be very nice okay oh so Hilda's here so Hilda welcome uh, we have 88 amber. Biscuits can produce be produced in the rain mill. That is definitely worth taking. Uh, foragers camp. Could be worth taking. Um, let's have a quick look at this. So we have plenty of those. What was it we got here? Uh... Oh, that's the grain production. So another farm would be nice to get the extra trade goods, crops. Okay. Um, so we can sell a pack of crops. What do we want for it, though? Pottery? What if we wanted 50 pottery? Because then we can make beer. Alright. That's not bad. And we do need some herbs. All right. Um, 
And we could do some roots for the beer as well. All right, tried that. And in here, in the brewery, we can now produce beer, and we can produce beer from roots. And we'll do 30. Uh, no, we'll do, uh, let's do 100. And we will stick someone in here once we can. We just don't have the people for it right now. All right, we opened up a glade. I heard that. Down here, it's another one of these. Okay. Definitely need some people on this. So you can go away. So both of you can go away for now and get in here. We'll convert it again, I think. No, actually, you know what? Let's do this and we will give you resin, of course. Investigate, go. Okay, yeah, lizard resolve is low, everyone's resolve is low. We're getting rid of it. Why are the lizards so miserable all the time? And now we don't have anyone in here again. Dang it. Uh, let's take one of you out and put you in here. Well, that's going to be gone. We are so close to losing. We are so close to losing. Okay, that's that done it didn't give us any resolve boost so we are we are none of them give us any resolve so we are we're screwed we are screwed yep we lost we lost all right fair enough <laughs> no more uh <laughs> no more daily daily uh expeditions and shenanigans Let's, um, let's continue to the next cycle. So, gather quite a bit. It's pretty good. All right. Some contacts. Okay, okay. Ending the cycle. Now, what I really want is food. Four, four, 34 food, 37 food, 29, 8, 8, 32, 8, 8. Now that is very, very attractive. 32, 8, 8. That is definitely where we're going. We're not going to get any because I, I want to save up for something better. Uh, all right. So. Hard, medium map size, small amount of soil. Uh, we get 32.88. We get traders are afraid. Yep. 
So no traitors. One additional lizard will come. Okay. And uh, but plus three to lizards resolve, which is nice because lizards are generally just miserable. All right. Well, we'll grab our customary extra group of beavers. Maybe we should get even more lizard resolved and then just some eggs or something or roots. I think that might actually be what we do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So an extra lizard with each group and we have extra lizard resolve. Uh, so we have plus six lizard resolve actually, which is fantastic. All right, so complex food will be good for humans, beavers, and lizards. And complex food, again, will be good for humans, beavers, and lizards. So complex food is a thing. Plus 20% chance to double the yield, and the resolve bonus multiplies every 60 seconds. Okay. Then we have the... Always looming darkness. We do not want to discover in the storm. We will need clothing or they will be slow. And we will need housing and clothing at hostility three or they will just basically die. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. All right. Um, Let's see, I guess we'll go here. And it's a lot, a lot of hostility. The forest really doesn't like us, does it? I mean, it's almost all hostile glades. We do have fertile land right off the bat, which is fantastic. I think we'll just start working our way in there somehow man it's not the best glades we got this time is it I'm actually surprised that we can mark this because we couldn't that's something they changed because before we couldn't mark the forest for chopping until uh, until we built the the woodcutters but that is a welcome change in my opinion that we can now do that all right uh, uh let's just uh, go on one housing shelter uh, i want to build up there this one two three need one more uh, we'll wait a bit all right Build, build, build. Okay, there we go. Beavers, in you go. Do your thing. Fight that sexy bark. Alright, uh, let's see. Small farm. The cellar is nice. The cellar is nice, but... I'm gonna go with small farm. We're going to go with the herb garden. We're going to go with the rain mill. All right. Um, let's get the crude workstation built. Yeah, uh, let's get uh, farm fields going, and I think we'll let's do that as well. Uh, we have our first cornerstone, metal or metal recipes are increased by thirty three percent. Ancient mushroom farming techniques are described here. New 
We'll do this one, I guess. Herb and root production is increased by plus one for every 50 biscuits produced. Let's do that. Seems pretty good to me. Seriously, is that all? Hmm. That's gonna be a shitty farm, isn't it? Well, orders. Uh, solve any two glade events. Have two woodcutters. You know what? We'll do the two woodcutters. Uh, pack of crops, a pack of building materials. I would rather do the building materials. Yeah. And human resolve about 55. Or 35 of those. You know what? Human Resolve. We're going with the Human Resolve. Alright, uh, let's get a couple of people in here. Do uh, 10, 10, 10. We don't have any of that. We don't have any of that. Would we have? Oh, absolutely do we have, of course. Uh, stone Cutters. Bang. Uh, you know what? Um, I want to chop that little tree right there. Okay. Um, let's just chop here. Move you down here. And that'll be fine. Uh, we want lizards. Uh, lizards, where did I put you? Put a human in there, put a lizard in there. And we can put a human in there. Okay. I think we're going to be fine on this one. I think we're going to be fine on this one. Uh, here, let's not do those two. Just opening a bit there, which is fine. All right, let's move you back here. And you know what, we'll actually just open up like that. Doesn't really matter to me what order it's done in. All right, we have this one done. So that gives us an extra beaver. And it gives us an extra building, which is what we really wanted. Ooh, the granary. Mush soup is nice. We already have the rain mill for the flower. So that's not a worry. Tea, incense and biscuits. Jerky, pottery and incense. I think I'll go with the tea, incense and biscuits. I'll go with the apothecary. Yeah. Uh, now, we need a... Uh, you know what? Let's do a herb garden. Like that. Actually, you know what? Let's do a herb garden like that. That'll work. And we can put a human in there. 
Right, so that gets those pitiful six fields going. This might not be bad. Let's go with the human. It also was an extra... an extra villager. Discovering a glade kills a villager? No. Reputation from Sol grows plus 5% faster for every two villagers with the vehicle. Okay. Standardized set of rules. Every two villagers with the need for wolf education will increase global production speed by 55%. I think I'll go with letters to the citadel. Uh, we have some new orders. So two dangerous glades. That's definitely what we're doing. Though I would love to get the jerky thing, but we don't have the means to make jerky right now. Uh, 50 paths for 5 amber. Eh. But it's easy to do. But I'm going to do that one and build a trader, <laughs> which I haven't done yet. Uh, I always forget to build a dang trader. Uh, let's build the trader there. Uh, we need housing. I'll build a human house there and another one there. We can queue up some beaver houses. A beaver house. Some beaver houses. If we move you up there. And. Then we can put a path. Down. This way. And. And. Do another two beaver houses. Like that. And lizard houses. Alright. Oh, another lizard house. That's a lot of stuff that we need, but that's okay. And we'll get all this stuff built uh, hopefully in the next one, because we are running out of time. So I think we'll call this one here. I think we're doing a lot better on this one than we did on the last one, and I think we'll be just fine. So getting back into the swing of things. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.